Hello, I wanted to show you some more of my token collection today. Um, so these particular tokens are, uh, are a little different and I'll explain to you here. This token uh, was given to me by a friend of mine. Uh, he had found it and some change and uh, he knew I collected tokens so he gave it to me. Of course on this side it says connect with Libra. So I knew it was a uh, you know, Zodiac token. Um, what I wasn't quite prepared for was the reverse. Um, I've never quite seen a token like this that was so graphic. Um, so I looked this up and it, uh, a lot of people say that they were used as uh, peep show tokens. Um, doesn't really show the wear that I would expect. So they might have just been a gag gift, but uh, it kind of got me started on collecting a few. and. And I was able to pick up a few others uh, from the same series. And I think I'm missing about four of these still. Um, and some of the ones that I have aren't in great condition. Um, so. I also picked up uh, another token, and I thought this one was pretty funny. Uh, some people call these flipper tokens. They have a heads and tails side. This side's marked heads. Old man grabbing a younger lady's uh, rear, and on the back you get to see that a little better. <laughs> and uh, I actually have a couple of varieties of this. I have a kind of cheaper uh, brass version and then I picked up uh, quite a variety of what they call uh, busty Betty tokens so usually these tokens you can't lose it'll say heads I win tails you lose um, these were they've been made for years they probably started in the 20s or 30s and they were really popular during the 40s and 50s a lot of gis pack these with them for good luck and uh if you see one that's been worn flat you know that it's uh, been rubbed for good luck quite a lot and like i said there's quite a variety of these um some of them just say heads and tails and some of them uh or heads I win, tails you lose. Um, yeah, there's endless varieties, it would seem. I like this one, she's holding a little martini glass. And some of them, this one you can see is actually an advertisement piece. The Lake County Realtors has a phone number, TA23195. So that's, uh, that's pretty old. That kind of shows you where that's at. So I also picked up quite a variety of uh, uh, real peep show tokens. So. This one's Fantasy for Adults Only in Portland, Oregon. Uh, for an adult video in our erotica. Uh, this is actually still there. I drive by it every now and then. Uh, I really like this one, the Cinderella Adult Centers. I thought that was, uh, that was pretty good. This one you see quite often. Uh, Show World Center. New York City. I guess this is right in the heart of uh, Times Square, or was. World's greatest show place. That's a really nice token, and, and they're not too expensive. I think that that uh, fits into about anyone's collection. And like I said, I've got quite a few of them. Swinger Supply, Gary, Indiana.
Judy's Entertainment Center. I picked up this one. Adult movie. Peter's Palace. New Hampshire. And the last token I picked up was this uh, fake Arkansas quarter. Birthplace of Bill Clinton. He's got his uh, joint and having some fun behind this tree here. I, I've i seen that a few times, but I never, I never purchased one. So I thought to go with my whole naughty token collection, this one would fit in well. Well, I hope you enjoyed these. Thank you.